is Arkis, all the way from Bristol, UK. He's come along with KSP tonight, and we're very glad that he convinced you to come. How are you? Very good, thanks. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Uh, so, Bristol, hotbed of electronic music. I don't want to say the word scene, but I'm probably going to have to. So, uh, you've done tracks with Apple Blim, is it? Apple Laurie, yeah? Um, yeah, I, uh, I did a remix with him a while ago, and on my uh, my last EP, he uh, he helped me write a riff. And, but we've never kind of sat down and properly written a track together until now. Uh, it's very early days, but it's sounding kind of cool, so hopefully you guys will get to hear it in a few months, I reckon. Great stuff. Yeah, Laurie's a phenomenal DJ when I've seen him play before. But we're going to talk about you, fortunately. Uh, so your recent EP was the Never Forgotten EP back in March. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me a little bit how that came about? Because you're on uh, released by Halo Cyan. Am I saying Halo that right? Cyan. Halo Cyan. I was only going to call it Hallison, but I don't know. Uh, and you're amongst pretty good companies. So there's XXXY. Yeah. Faulty DL. You've also got you know Apple Blim on there. Alterettes. Um, how did that come about? Uh, about two years ago, uh, before the Apple Pips and Hot Flush record came about, and before I was gigging or anything, I got an email uh, from this guy called Al, and uh, he wanted to release. And uh, they had a, a really strange deal where they kind of sign over all of your rights to the record and buy it outright from there. And uh, yeah, it was kind of more money than I'd ever had from any other release, so I thought, fuck it, why not? And uh, uh, did the release in about three or four months, and it took them a year and a half to put out. And uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all about the Benjamins, right? Oh, I uh, <laughs> so I was going to ask you about a couple of your other tunes. Um, so you've had a vocalist Grizzler feature on a couple of tracks you've done. Grizzler. Yeah. Christ, I'm so sorry. Uh, Just like so. <laughs> I think it's so tempting to change it around. Um, he seems like a wicked MC rapper. What does he class himself as? A yeah, I, I don't think he'd ever call himself an M MC. He's a poet, you know. He doesn't really get involved on that many tracks, but he's my favourite uh, MC that I've ever kind of met. And uh, yeah, I feel a real honour to work with him. Um, yeah, the Fill Your Coffee vocal that came out, I didn't actually record that with him. I was going through a bit of a, a strange time, and, and my friend Gatekeeper, who I live with, came back with Grills uh, and uh, he was like I've got a surprise for you and they played that to me and I was just like that's uh, that's amazing so uh, yeah he's a, he's a proper good lad and real talented uh, poet. Brilliant, a totally happy accident as well. Yeah. Cool, I, I was going to ask you about the Halo Cyan kind of uh, slogan as it were that you have to know your history to be able to create the future. Um, and from a couple of your tracks, <laughs> I feel like you've got a bit of funk going on. Are you the sort of guy who has a massive, eclectic list of vinyl going on? Uh, not in any way at all. I started buying vinyl a few years ago, but um, I grew up in Libya, which is uh, kind of it's a developing country. Their internet is uh, not great over there, and there are no vinyl shops or any house or any drum and bass over there. So uh, I was kind of like downloading tunes off the internet from there and that's kind of how I got into it really um, but yeah no I didn't have access to any of that stuff so true child of the internet generation child of the <laughs> yeah uh, it's kind of amazing what it can do um, what would you say is the your favorite piece of music right now my favorite piece of music uh, it's a pretty big one um, this uh, is it open eye signal by John Hopkins have you heard that yeah it's sending me uh, mental at the moment really good and empty set have you guys checked out empty set uh, it's uh, Gins as in Joker and Gins and a guy called Paul Purgis doing absolutely mental stuff by recording tones in like an abandoned mansion and kind of processing them with a compressor and it's absolutely delirious like amazing I uh, highly recommend it that sounds like some kind of heavenly recording mode to get into like, I'm just going to go to a weird random place and play some bells see what happens uh, how do you yourself make your music um I used to use Logic, which I uh, gave up a few months ago, and I'm now on Ableton, and uh, yeah. Big up Ableton, yeah. Yeah, I have to admit, like, Logic really let us down, you know, it's been ages since the last one, and yeah, I'm a full convert now, really into Ableton. Uh, I've got a couple of weird little synths, and you know, I've got my portable mic, and I do some uh, field recording. 
And that's about it really, just kind of like processing sounds, playing with synths and some drums and yeah, just having fun. Great. And so very recently you put up Know You Wrong on your SoundCloud. Is that sort of an accurate representation of where you're at at the moment? Uh, that track? Um, not really. I like to make loads of different stuff. I don't think I've ever made one house track or one dubstep track and then made another dubstep track after it. I, uh, I don't know. I think we've got this gift of a computer and software that can do absolutely anything. It just makes no sense to me to just keep doing the same thing. So I have to admit what you guys might have heard will be the house stuff because I feel it fits in with my SoundCloud. But really I make kind of lots of weird stuff and like play with noise. Um, and I love drum and bass and make a lot of drum and bass but don't don't put it up on SoundCloud. You're hiding in the shadows of your drum and bass career. It's gonna come out sooner or later, isn't it though? I hope so. <laughs> uh, so where are you at at the moment? What's what's coming up for Arcus? Um, well, I just had a, a 12 out on Hypercolor and the Halo Sign one, um, which uh, I thought were quite cool. Uh, the Hypercolor one was with Commoners Muck, who I think is an extremely talented producer right now. And he's got a 12 coming out on Aus in July uh, that is going to absolutely destroy it. And uh, yeah, now I'm just kind of having fun and playing about. I'm not really trying to work towards anything as yet, but yeah, just in, uh, having fun. That's great. Well, it's nice to hear that someone's having some fun anyway. Uh, everyone, can we give it up for Arkist? <laughs> oh, disrobed. You're going to hear more from Arkist very soon, but now we're going to play his track, Know You Wrong. Uh, here we go. <laughs>
That was Arkist and Know You Wrong. Can we big up our Bristol crew? Can we big up Naza for that amazing set beforehand? Uh, he's come a long way, baby, so enjoy him massively. This is Arkist.
to Trade the TV. And right now you're listening to oh, Kiss. Absolutely great. I'm gonna stop using that absolutely. Totally great interview from Emily today. Found out quite a lot. If you haven't, definitely join us on Facebook. Live stream. And believe it or not, YouTube too. But that's not all we got. We got more for you as well. Stay tuned, we got Kamikaze Space Program. Oh yeah, he's coming up later. But let's not take anything away from the man who's at the wheels of steel right now. And that's our friend, and hopefully yours too. We are kissed.
know it's getting rabbit jammer in here. It's wall to wall in the trailer. Thank you. 
Taylor the crew. Let me hear some noise for the Bristol Wanderer. Oh, kiss. Played a nice smooth flavour for you guys tonight. But there's more to come. So don't tune out just yet. Big shout to Luke Harris in the house. Whoa! Superstar DJs everywhere. You can't move for them in. You can't move from. I can't even speak. You can't move for them in the trailer. Superstars everywhere. Wanna send a big shout out to one half of Florin in the house as well. Yeah, I see her dancing right there. Loving it. Couple of minutes now. And I shall be with KSP, aka Kamikaze Space Program. Amongst other things. Oh yeah, taking it right back. Oh, kiss. 